Well, it must surely have been his toughest role, and nothing from all his on-screen dramas could have prepared William Roach for the part of the accused in this all-too-real-life saga far removed from his fictional world. How heavy were they? Uh, oh, oh, dear, let me think now. The little girl was uh, five pounds three. The stardom he enjoyed after more than 50 years in one of the world's most successful soaps was all but shattered in May last year. That's when police officers turned up at the actor's home in Cheshire. William Roach said that his arrest had made him break out into a sweat and that he couldn't come to terms with it. He had no choice. Four women came forward alleging that they'd been indecently assaulted and another one said she was raped as a 15-year-old girl here at the bungalow that the actor once owned in the Lancashire town of Haslingdon. She said that she was raped again later the same year, 1967, in a nearby cottage, also owned by Mr Roach. I, William Patrick Roach, he said in a police statement, say I am a very sensitive and caring person. He went on, I have not, nor would I ever force any person to engage in a sexual act against their will. The actor said that when the relationship with his first wife was falling apart, he was unfaithful and had taken lovers back to his bungalow, but he insisted he was never attracted to underage girls. William Roach, once pictured in druid clothing, has long been known as a man with what some may regard as offbeat beliefs, and eyebrows were certainly raised when he gave this interview to a TV channel in New Zealand. To some people that sounds perhaps like you're saying victims bring things on themselves. Is that what you're saying? But, but... No, not quite, but and yet, yes I am, in that we, everything that happens to us to, is, is been a result of what we have been in previous lives or whatever. In a later interview with Sky News, he was asked to clarify his position. I don't want to be put into that. If you're going to pin me down and start saying all victims deserve what they're getting, no, I'm not saying that at all. William Roach consistently denied all the allegations against him. His fictional on-screen family came to his trial to describe him as warm, open and supportive. Questions will no doubt be asked as to whether the pendulum has swung too much in favour of those who accuse celebrities of historic abuse. Mr Roach's barrister said that the spectre of Jimmy Savile and an unhealthy interest in sending celebrities to court for sex offences haunted the trial. How relieved the actor must be that he will not spend the rest of his days in the shadows of such a spectre. Mike McCarthy, Sky News.